Hey everyone, welcome back to my part two of my Crazy Rose Girls haulage um, over the past several months. So this was probably my second purchase from Rose Girls for the year. So in total, I'll say that I probably have ordered five times, six times from Rose Girls. Has it been five or six this whole year? We'll see. By the time we end all these hauls, we'll, we'll know. So this one was from the fall pre-order. Um, so the Mario Melters pre-order was like in April-ish. This specific pre-order was maybe around June. Because I want to say I got it for like, got it in July. I'm just guessing here, but I'm almost positive. Um, so yeah, if you want to know more about Rose Girls, just check out my last video. I mean, I didn't say much, but just check out my last video. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put these in order, though. Hmm. So I'll go ahead and tell you. Rose Girls is owned by Jenny Oaks. Um, she is the owner. One thing I love about Rose Girls is that her blends are so good. She, she just, they just, they're simple but they're so good like it's hard to really explain and i'll get into this and i'll let you know like exactly how much i love stuff and i don't even think it's like her putting things that shouldn't go together like like who knew to put this with this it just it just works like whatever she's putting together it just works so i'm gonna go ahead and start so everything from this pre-order was all fall type of scents now all these little bitty chunks that you see right here these are this is um the fall sampler. So I got chunk muffin, chunk muffin, chunk bag, chunk muffins, and then this, uh, boop, 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 boop. all that is the fall sampler, which was about like 40 bucks, I think, for the entire sampler. So we'll start off with my chunk muffin. So this very first one I got three of, because in my last Rose Girls video, I'll let you guys know that I love her coffee, I love her espresso. Like, I love her espresso and I love her absolute coffee. I swear, every time I'm doing one of these videos, is that a plane or is that, <laughs> like, I'm like, is that a plane or is that a lawnmower? It's a lawnmower. Anyway, y'all probably can't hear it, but it is distracting me. Anyway, um, so this is Espresso Zucchini Donuts. Again, it seems so very simple. There's no scent description on it, and it just looks like a little chunk of muffin these are four bucks. I really like these because basically you can probably cut them into four and get four melts out of them. So about a dollar a melt. Um, so um, that is like really distracting me. And I know that because I always say this, I'm like, can y'all hear that? And I look at the video and y'all can't hear it, but it is loud. It's, it's distracting. Anyway, um, who cuts the grass on a Friday? my gosh okay so um it smells so good it it always to me her espresso always smells like it has a smidget of cinnamon sugar and i think that's why i like it so much because it's not so so hard and dirty you know a lot of coffees can be really hard and dirty her coffee is always uh, sweet but not like sickingly sweet like some people's lattes and stuff like that are so this one I got three of because I love her coffee blends and I love coffee blends, period. I think I confessed to myself that Jenny with, well, this brand, Rose Girls, has like the best coffee blends, like my favorite coffee blends. So it's still debatable. It's still debatable. Um, so let's go, I guess we'll go to the next chunk muffin. This is Strawberry Slurp. And this is Strawberry Jam, Cereal Killer, Rice Krispie Treats, and Sugar Milk. I don't know what possessed me to get this. But I'm glad I did. You do get a lot of that Cereal Killer. Her Cereal Killer is like a bunch of cereals together. I want to say like Fruit Loops, Fruity Pebbles, um, maybe Rice Krispie Treats on its, by itself as well. Um, but this has also Rice Krispie Treats and Sugar Milk. And uh, when I got this strawberry slurp i wasn't thinking cereal so now i'm getting it like right now in this very moment y'all are with me on this epiphany knowing that this the strawberry slurp it means slurping up some cereal 
So it just smells like a really good strawberry cereal scent. There is a strawberry cereal um, that I'm not a fan of. I think it's Frankenberry, and that one's supposed to be like a strawberry and a um, cereal type of scent, but that one has a little bit too much tart in it to go with the cereal. So this is actually a better strawberry cereal scent. The next one, I wasn't too sure. This is Lavender Linen and Icy Shine. Now, I do like my fresh, and I do like my lavender on occasion. And so, when I got this, I don't know why. It was something about the Icy Shine portion of it that convinced me to get it. And then I saw Jenny, or maybe one of her admins, write what this smells like to them. And they were like, it kind of smells like... Um, a shampoo or something like that and I was like oh I do not want a shampoo scent I don't mind shampoo scents but I was just like oh I don't want that but as I have it right here it smells like that lavender linen the sweet um, like laundry type of scent mixed with this nice sweet Pantene Pro-V or something like my goodness it is good it is something that I don't think do I, I think everybody would really like this scent, but um, it's on the prettier side, like the pretty side. Like I just washed my hair in the whole bathroom, but I also washed my clothes in there. Like, I don't know. It's good though. This one is a, quite a gem. This is Carbs with Bullfriends. The scent description is donuts, cookies, bread, pumpkin sugar donuts, vanilla pumpkin Noel, and fluff puffs. When I saw the scent description, I was like, oh, okay, all right, that seems okay. But let me tell you what the start of the show of this one is. I'm gonna sniff it, and then I'm gonna tell you. So, that Nilla, I've never had Nilla Pumpkin Noel, and Nilla Pumpkin Noel is just basically pumpkin, vanilla bean Noel, and Nilla wafers. I've never had it, but that sweet pumpkin from the Nilla Pumpkin Noel really shows it's face. It's one of those ones, again, as soon as you open it, they're like, hi, hi, welcome, hi, hi. Are you here to see donuts, cookies, bread, pumpkin? Like, and they're like, wait, it's like right there. That's the one that answers the door. Um, everybody else is in the back partying, you know what I mean? And they're all blending together. <laughs> so, but sweet pumpkin, that one right there, it smells so good, and it's perfect for this time of year right now. I know it says carbs with ghoul friends, but that reminds me of, like, Halloween and stuff like that, which... Halloween, I'm more like, and I know pumpkins are out, but like to me, Halloween's more like a apple season and pumpkin plus apple, like pumpkin apple scents, but not just pumpkin. This is giving me Thanksgiving vibes all the way. So, love that one. And I love the colors, of course. If you can see them, the trunk bag's a little messy. I don't even know how the trunk bag got so messy. But, really, really good. So, y'all can move next we are going to go over the fall sampler so um how do i want to put this okay it's not even i wanted it to look like pretty but whatever we're going to start with these this butterscotch coconut ice cream now i know that i complain about coconut a lot but let me tell you how do I put this okay I won't say that I'll say in this specific blend because there have been coconut blends from Rose Girls that I just cannot get with and this is not necessarily one of them this is again butterscotch coconut ice cream you really get that butterscotch the butterscotch really shows itself but the coconut blends in there quite beautifully and I know it says ice cream but it's almost like a, oh I was gonna say it's almost like a coconut flavored ice cream because when you read it um, maybe because the words are separated, you think butterscotch, then coconut, then ice cream. But it smells like this nice creamy vanilla coconut type of ice cream mixed with butterscotch. Really good. And that one, you get two chunk muffins. I haven't melted any of these scents except for the carbs with ghoul friends. Um, but all these samplers, I haven't um, melted it. But that one is really good. Pear carbs. I'm not normally a fan of pear because pear and wax comes off very kind of fresh yeah this one is too almost like a um, body spray there there was a pear stint from Bath and Body Works years ago and maybe that's what's turning me off because people used to wear it all the time I don't know but that's what this is giving me the carbs is carbs is really in the background on this scent 
Um, the pears is really right there in the front of like everything. This one has little shapes. This is blueberry pumpkin peeps cakes cake at C Tiffany's. I am not that big of a fan of cupcakes at Tiffany's. I don't know how many times I have to tell y'all that before y'all start screaming at your monitors like, okay, shy, we get it. Like you don't like cupcakes at Tiffany's. And this is one of the ones where the cupcakes at Tiffany's really is right there, front and center, in your face. Um, I rarely get any blueberry, and I rarely get any pumpkin. I just smell cupcakes. Yeah, I just only smell cupcakes at Tiffany's. And I'm not even going to say it's because I don't like it, because a lot of times you don't like something that comes out, that's the main scent that comes out. But I've had some scents where that cupcakes at Tiffany's is in there, but it actually um, blends well, but that one is mostly cupcakes and Tiffany's. Um, are you ready for some football? So this is a green and orange because I believe that this is a, I don't even know the name of the, um, is it Green Bay Packers? Maybe that's their colors. I don't know. I am in Dallas, so we all know how that goes. <laughs> so um, I don't even watch sports, so don't mind me. But this one is a nice apple type of fragrance. This would have been perfect in October. And I guess I can do it right now, but this is a nice transitional type scent. Like, you know, it's getting cool outside, getting getting all the Halloween de decorations are out. Because you also get this very, like, uh, cinnamon, um, spice, craft store type of blend. Actually, that's exactly what this smells like. This smells like a ba basket of cinnamon, potpourri, and, like, a craft store like that it smells just like michael's or hobby lobby or something like that all right so this one is apple fritter donut hole nilla noel you really get the apple fritter which i really like and i like that it's also quite sweet and almost sugary um like there, the apple fritter has like some sugar sprinkled on top of it or something like that. This one is quite delicious. It makes you want to eat it actually. Next one is one that I really love and I actually found a wax melt from um, Scoopable Tarts Wax um, of the same scent. Harvest, hey, that has two V's. Is this supposed to have two V's? I just noticed that. Um, Harvest Bake Sale Noel. So this one is just going to be your very quintessential fall type scent with the pumpkin apple. Yeah, basically it smells like pumpkin apple. It is so, so, so good. So, so good. Um, again, kind of a hint of cinnamon. It's giving me the cinnamon sugar apple that is inside of a pie. In its raw state. Mm, mm, mm. It's so good. It's so, 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 so good. Um, praline Pumpkin Latte Noel. So, I am a big fan of Rose Girl's coffee. Her latte, on the other hand, is just like other vendors' lattes. It's more on the milky side of coffee. If you really like a lot of milk in your coffee... And this specific scent, I don't know if it's the pumpkin or what, if it's, it might be a spicy pumpkin opposed to a sweet pumpkin, but it's actually quite cinnamony and not cinnamon sugar, like spicy cinnamon. So that one is just okay to me. But I still like it. I like it a lot. And I might even love it because it really smells like a pumpkin spice latte. That's what it smells like, pumpkin spice, spice latte. This is berry cobbler filled with waffle cones. Oh, and not a cobbler filled with, I mean, not a waffle cone filled with berry cobbler. This is really, really good. You get a lot of that um, berry cobbler scent. And waffle cones is just hard because it's so light. And it doesn't smell like the berry, uh, what is that from Bath and Body Works? Berry, berry, is it just berry waffle cones? Yeah. But it's just such a nice scent. Probably great for year-round. I'm actually getting summer vibes from smelling that. So that one may not get melted in the fall. 
Pineapple Princess, as soon as I saw this, um, what is that S for? Oh, this was the sample. This wasn't part of the, um, that's probably what the S is for. This wasn't part of the um, fall, uh, the fall sampler. That's probably what the S is for. So anytime I see pineapple, I already assume I'm not gonna like it. Yeah, it smells like an actual like pineapple. Yeah, and it, I can't even put my finger on it, but it has so much pineapple. Not really artificial pineapple. It's actually quite authentic, but I'm just not a pineapple person. I'm not a pineapple fan. So this is Candy Cord Schusselkuchen. This is so good. Her schusel cook cooking is so like, it's just like the cinnamon sugar bread. It's very comparable to P.F. Chang's from Super Tart. Similar, not the same. But I don't smell like candy corn or this very significant marshmallow or anything like that in there. So, but I love her schusel cooking. So, um, I know I'm going to love that scent. And it's a sweet cinnamon sugar in the schusselkuchen. This one is pumpkin cupcake and baked zucchini bread. One thing I know about pumpkin cupcake with vendor wax is nobody has the right one. Yeah, this one smells just like, I mean, it smells probably more authentic to what a like because you know with vendor wax we actually get to smell the we actually get pumpkin and normally when we go to bath and body works or even get other candles from other brands or whatever we never get that actual genuine pumpkin it's just a bunch of spices this i get a hint a very very small hint of that pumpkin cupcake but the zoo, the baked zucchini bread is what takes over but i love zucchini bread and i really feel like her she has different zucchini breads because this zucchini bread, I, in my last video, I went over Cooper Chupa, Cooper Chupa needs a latte. Cooper Chupa, Cooper, not Cooper Chupa, Cooper Claus needs a latte. And um, the zucchini bread had this saltiness to it. This zucchini bread is just this nice cinnamon sugar bakery baked bread. So, not sure with that one. But um, I love the scent, but I don't know with the zucchini bread if that's gonna, if that's the same, if she has the same zucchini bread across, across the board. This is apple pie marshmallows. And this is nice. The apple in here is not a, necessarily a red apple because it is an apple pie. So, but it's getting, it's not an authentic bakery apple pie. It's more just like a candle apple pie. If you got a candle that's called apple pie, you're gonna smell like just apples. And it just smells like spiced apples with marshmallows. This one was quite amazing. Um, this is campfire marshmallows, salt water taffy, and cup of cake. This is a This is a blend. This is a blend that um, is something that's very unexpected. You don't expect to get campfire marshmallows with the salt water taffy. And, but it comes out so good. The, 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 the candy-like aspect mixed with that smoky sweetness from the campfire marshmallows, it just goes really good. The cup of cake is kind of in the background. There is a slight bakery, but it's not like really hit. You have to really look for it when you're smelling it. So that one I actually love and I did repurchase that. Y'all see that in another video here soon. This is Royal Sweet Potato Pie. I'm not really a big sweet potato pie person for whack. And that's exactly what it smells like. It smells like sweet potato pie. It might have royal sugar cookies in it. But that's why sweet potato pie comes out so much. It's just, it's really, 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 really there. Uh, country apple dumplings. This is another one, just like that apple pie marshmallows. But this is even spicier. So if you got a, 
an apple type of candle. And I'm not talking about Bath and Body Works. I'm saying like going to get just your typical, maybe a candle from Ross or um, Home Goods or something. And it was an apple scent. This is what this is a this is another like spicy apple, almost like an apple cider, but not cider lane type of scent. Yeah, blackberry caramel apples. Some of these I haven't smelled since I got them, which is this summer. This is nice. The blackberry, I guess, mixed with the caramel apples is giving me not this chemically situation. The more I smell it, the more the more I'm smelling like like a chemical. I don't know. I don't think I like that one. You get the blackberry, but something with it, I don't necessarily get caramel apple and um, whatever it is mixed together is giving me very chemical vibes. Candy apple milkshake. This fall thing had a bunch of apple in it. This is nice. And this is this is sweet like a candy apple. Candy apple milkshake. That's kind of hard to describe further than saying it smells like a candied apple. Yeah. Like the the candy that's around the apple and you get this this brief apple type of scent that one's that one's nice bourbon pumpkin donut i've noticed that i don't necessarily want things with bourbon okay this one's okay but sometimes i get bourbon and that bourbon really steals the show but this one seems to be melted pretty pretty good you get this alcohol bourbon type of note mixed with that pumpkin donut the pumpkin donuts is very comparable to Bath and Body Works pumpkin sugar donuts. Um, so that one is a nice. Sweet cinnamon pumpkin, blackberry jam butter cookies, and sugar milk. And when I first saw this, I haven't I haven't smelled it since the summer, so we're gonna see. But when I first saw this, I was like, ooh, sweet cinnamon pumpkin. I do not like sweet cinnamon pumpkin because it is that red hot cinnamon and ill. But this is nice. You get the it is Okay, I do smell the red hot cinnamon. But it's nice. It's like a spicy blackberry jam butter cookies. Like, yeah. Okay. And lastly, we have Hoodie Weather. I also purchased more of this one. I don't remember the skip description of this. But it's giving me vanilla sandalwood vibes or... It's or leaves maybe. I don't know, but this one is so good. I got more of that one. It's so fall. I think you can even melt something like this even going into winter. I really feel like it has sandalwood in it because it's giving me that, but it smells so good. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I will catch you guys very soon in a, in a video. Soon. Like, soon. <laughs> Bye guys.